<ride> la nostra rubrica Due Minuti Con oggi ha un ospite davvero illustre, la professoressa Sherman. Ci troviamo a Roma, abbiamo avuto una relazione molto bella eh, da parte sua e riguarda il movimento e noi vorremmo che lei stessa potesse dare un messaggio ai nostri pazienti di quanto è importante è utilizzare bene il movimento al fine di correggere il movimento articolare e ridurre le patologie. If I had my way, everybody would see a physiotherapist every year so that they would make sure that they're moving and aligned as optimally as possible. Because if you move in a faulty way, if you keep lifting your arm up like this, you're going to end up with shoulder pain. And somebody's got to help you identify why you're lifting your arm up like this and teach you how to do it right so that you can do it all the time and not keep injuring yourself. That's the message is don't create lesions if you don't need to. So do you need exercise every day you know, it, in your work? And, and, and I, you know, people don't do exercises. So what, what's important is to think of it, it's the way you do your everyday activities. If, if, as I say, if, if Everything you do all day long has you excessively lifting your shoulder up like this. It's going to get damaged. If you learn to lift it up the right way, then it's not going to get damaged. So it's not just a matter of exercise. It's how can you move as optimally as possible in all of your activities. If you do ballet and you learn to keep your shoulders down and you keep them down and you do that when you're off stage, not performing, you'll end up with a neck or shoulder problem. So you've got to take into account what do people do in their activities and show them how to correct that and move optimally when they're not doing that activity. If, 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 if someone comes to me with shoulder pain and in the process of correcting how they move, the pain goes away, it's not a matter of going to surgery. But as Dr. Giacomo just said, that if you look at anybody over 50, 50% of people that are over 50 have a rotator cuff lesion. The issues are, if, and he's, he's making this point, if you wait until it's a big lesion, you're not going to fix it. It's going to re-tear no matter what they do. And, and the problem is that even if they decide, and I can't tell you how they decide, but if they decide they should fix it, you still need to optimize how people move so that the surgery isn't wasted. Because if they fix the rotator cuff, but you keep doing things that made it go bad in the first place, you haven't gained as much as if you are again moving it correctly after surgery. So I'll let the surgeons make the decision, but I want to be there to help the surgery be as effective as possible. Thank you very much.